Hey guys, welcome to a new episode, new a new series, The Walking Dead Survival Instinct. I'll be playing this one. Um, I know I talked about doing, if y'all follow me on Instagram, I know I talked about doing The Evil Within, but I changed my mind because it was too big of a game and I wanted to play other games for y'all. So instead I'm going to play, I, I did, instead I did a vote. On some games that were short, but were shorter <laughs> and still really good. So after I did a vote, and this game and another game got two votes. So then I had to decide which one. So then I picked this one because a lot of people like The Walking Dead, and it might give me some uh, good subscribers and shit probably. Since so many people love The Walking Dead. Uh, I guess I'll play this for y'all now. And shut the hell up. walking this way. You see it? Fix it. It comes at me. You watch where you shoot that thing, okay? Follow the trail of blood. Yeah, that's right, motherfuckers. I got a sniper. I think I see some blood. Is there blood always this black? Where the hell is that motherfucker at? <clears throat> There's the up ahead. He's signaling. Cut through the trees to see what he wants. Objective indicator. The red arrow points towards your current objective. Your current objectives can be reviewed in the pause menu. A little arrow in the corner, if y'all can see it. That's the objective thing. And then the green bar, green curved bar next to it is your health. And then you got your bullets over here on the other side. And I don't feel like saying which side because I'll probably sit on like an idiot if I said it really quick. Uh, I didn't crouch down, so I might have made too much noise. Best you crouch to keep quiet. Okay, dude. Investigate what Buck saw. Buck saw. Yeah. Okay. Do -do 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 -do. Crouching down makes less noise. <laughs> no, it don't. I'm just going Look at that beautiful deer. Someone's shooting. Ow. 
Damn. <clears throat> Press X to pick up hunting knife. Melee attacks. Melee attack. Press RT to swing the weapon and hold it to deliver a powerful attack. Melee weapons are good for taking out walkers without making much noise. And if you didn't know that, then you're going to die when this actually happens. That's what... That's a stronger attack if you hold it down than in a light attack. It takes longer, but it's, you know, safer. Support strength. Restorative item restorative items. Sports strengths and MREs can be used and can be used to restore your condition. Once you have equipped a restore restorative item, press RT to use it. So yeah. Sport drinks and MREs heal your ass up when you're half fucking dead. Daryl, come here. We gotta work up a plan. Have you ever seen anything like that? If you told me about it, I'd call you a liar. Listen, there's more of them coming. We gotta go. Yeah, the only thing we gotta do is kill every last one of them. Daryl, I know you're upset, but just listen. That sounds like a whole lot of them. We need to go now. Gather up as much as you can and meet me at the truck. Let's go then. Daryl, remember what we learned about him. Head trauma. Attack the brain. Remember, the only thing we know that kills him. And be quiet sneaking out the back door. Don't let him see you. Fucking eyes are getting dark. These these are MREs. It looks useful. I get used to playing this damn game again. Well, yeah, and if you want to know how much stuff each thing does, like the hunting knife does light damage, which is little damage, and then the reach is close, as in you have to be really close for it to actually hit something, and then swing speed medium means it'll hit. The fastest it'll hit is like in the middle of slow and fast. And the hammer, <clears throat> the damage is light, the reach is close, and the swing is fast. So, you know, basically, the difference is the hammer swings faster, so you'll get more light hits in than you would with the knife. Yeah. Bitch. Bitch. In the butt. 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 Butt stabber. <clears throat> it's one of those games where you want to look around for shit. Crack. And you want to pick up fuel too. 
fuel. Fuel is vital to keeping a group on the road and without it your journey will end. While you can search for fuel in each area, survivors can also be sent out to find additional fuel. Got a gun. Range weapons. Range weapons generate a lot of noise when fired and can attract other walkers into the area. You know, and if you didn't know that either, then you're still gonna fucking die. Come here, bitch. Come on. Come on, follow me. Come here to daddy. Come here. Bam! Uh, 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 fucking stay down, bitch. You did. Find one more fuel can. Distraction items. Items such as flares and glass bottles can be used to distract walkers. Once you have equipped a distraction item, press RT to throw it. Excuse me. That's right, go over there, you idiots. Gotta run, 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 Travel map. Here you can select your next destination. <laughs> Here you can select your next destination and how to get there. Back roads consume more fuel, but for but provide additional scavenging opportunities. While taking highways conserve fuel, but bypass scavenging opportunities. <coughs> In this game. <coughs> In this game, if y'all didn't know, um, every now and then you get to see, you get to pick a different destination. Um, like you either pick one way or you go the other way. Sometimes when you get to this part where the map comes up, so uh, what I'm gonna do is since there's two paths you can go, once you go one you can't go the other one. So what I'm gonna do is after I go one way and you know beat the game, then I'll play it for y'all again, but doing the other pass. Yeah. So that's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> and right here, back if you choose back roads, it says high fuel usage, but stopped often for supplies. So if you if you choose back roads. You'll use more gas, but you'll most likely you'll stop for you'll find a place to stop and get supplies more often. And if you pick and then if you pick highways, you'll use less fuel. Um, you use less fuel, and most likely won't find a place to stop to get more supplies. And then if you pick streets, it's in the middle, as in you'll use you'll use a little bit of to a little bit more fuel than you would here. And you'll see you most you might like 50 50 find a place to stop at to get supplies. It just depends on you know how much damn gas you got and how much you don't mind using. <coughs> I'm gonna use back roads. Not a damn thing. My phone ain't working either. 
Hey, about your dad? I don't know what to say about it. Then don't. Leave it be. Well, we gotta tell Merle what happened. Yeah, I suppose we do. But we ought to warn people first. What? Go to the cops? <sighs> Please. We gotta go get Merle. Merle, he's... Well, he's just not right. What you say to me, old man? Merle's ten times the man you are. All right, all right. Just seems you boys turn hay into shit when you're together. <laughs> Travel Hub. Here you can manage your survivors, transfer items to your vehicle, and select the items you want to take with you into the next area. So what you can do if you have sur oh, hang on. survivors, here you can heal, equip, and send survivors to find resources, which is what I was about to say. <laughs> Each survivor has traits that can affect the risk level of a group of the group. Lower the risk level by sending more survivors out and giving them weapons. So um, right up right there under condition where it says traits, it says can't be dismissed because he's like a main fucking character. So you, you, he's not just someone you found and decided to bring with you. So that's why it says it can't be dismissed. And it says he's tough. So anyone who's tough is going to have 125 li of life points. And you give him whatever weapon you want that you're most likely you're not going to take with you. And, and yeah. And then down here on where it says task, so you can tell him to either go find fuel, find food, or find them, or just stay at the damn truck. When you choose one of them, down there where it says group scavenge risk, it says 30%, so that means he's 30% likely to get hurt or die. Or I think it's more like just die. So the higher it is, the more likely he's either going to be extremely hurt when you come back, <laughs> or he's either going to be dead, and then you get nothing, from what I remember. <coughs> and, um, yeah. All right, here it says, occupation, J Jess Collins, occupation, handyman, age 57, bio, Jess performs a variety of odd jobs and services, some elliptic el el for his older ha half-brother, Will Dixon, tough and loyal to his family, Jess is a good fighter and a seasoned hunter. I want to give him the bolt action rifle. Which, yeah, if, if, um, if someone up there where it says traits has a certain thing about weapons, oh, here, I got all this shit right here I can tell y'all about, so I don't mind listening. And after I, I tell you all this shit right here, and I, I think I'll end the video, right here, this, this is gonna be about the traits of everybody, okay. Each survivor, y'all, y'all can listen if y'all want, or just skip it and go to the next video because after I read this like I said I'm, I'm, I'm gonna stop the video yeah I'm just gonna tell you about about the traits and all that with survivors each survivor has a le at least one characteristic characteristic to help Daryl make his way through levels and defeat walkers <coughs> if it says can't be dismissed the survivor is relevant to the story and cannot be dismissed by the player after a mission and on traits, if you see, prefers bladed weapons. That means the survivor will lower the group scavenge risk even more when armed with a bladed weapon. And then, <coughs> and then when you see prefers blunt weapon, the survival the survivor will lower the group scavenge risk even more when armed with a blunt weapon. And there's also prefers pistol, which that means you you'd rather have a pistol, and it would lower the scavenge risk. And someone, and and for someone who prefers shotguns, if it says prefer shotgun. So if you ever see, prefers bladed weapons, prefers blunt weapons, prefers pistol, pre prefer, pre prefers shotgun, prefers rifle, or prefer <laughs> prefers shotgun. If you see anything like that where it says traits, that means if you give them that weapon, that that that's on their traits. That it says on their traits, then, then uh, when you send them out to do something, it'll make the the scavenge risk go down even more. But if they, but like, like say you had a survivor, 
and it said prefers pistol and you gave him a blunt weapon and that wasn't on his traits you didn't see that on his traits that wouldn't help him much at all it wouldn't do anything to the sca scra scavenge risk I don't remember it, would, it might either make it go up or not do anything at all but yeah and then there's also this stealthy if you see a trait that says stealthy that means the survivor lowers the group's scavenge risk even more than the others so if you have a if you have a um a survivor who's who has a stealthy trait then he's really and he's a really good person to send out if you have other people you're going to send out because it'll make the scavenge risk go down for everybody even more then if you if you have a person who has a reckless trait that means the survivor lowers the group scavenge risk less than the others so that means that means if you send a person out with a reckless trait, then it'll make it go up. Unless you don't have a choice, then and it's not a very high scavenge risk, then go ahead and send them out. And there's also these two. Tough, it's tough trait. The survivor, if if the if the survivor has a tough trait, that means the survivor has a higher condition rating, as in this one. He he's tough, which means you you have 125 life points and then if you see a person who has a weak trait that means the, sh the survivor has a lower condition rating which means they're gonna have 75 health points instead and that's all that they're, they're gonna have 75 health points if they're if they're weak if their traits weak which means if you want to, you can risk them now by sending them out. Well, and when I get a, when I find a survivor, I'll tell y'all what their traits are and all that. Because I got all that down too, like what you'll get out of rescuing throughout the whole game. Because you get, you get, you get something out of keeping a survivor throughout a whole entire game. You get something at the end for when you play it again. Excuse me. Well, anyway, that's the end of this episode. See y'all in the next one. Bye.